I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. We're just about set to get this one underway. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And he tackles him hard at the 26. He's scrambling, and down he goes around the 30-yard line. He scrambled. He's wrapped up for the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. Burks takes it to 25, and down he goes at the 37. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Got some open field. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. That's a great tackle at the 46. There you go. Good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. There he goes. Gets out to around the 38. That's a game and eight on the play. That makes it second and two. Diving for extra yardage. Gaining four yards. That makes it first and ten. And he's taken down right around the 24-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Tackle at the 22-yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out, because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for the game. Seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. There's a strike complete, and they make the stop around the five-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. around the four-yard line. There was some movement on the line. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. It's third down. They need eight yards here to get the ball in the end zone. 
He's got it. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. So an 11 play, 69 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Arkansas, the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Arkansas is in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you've got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Brought down at the 31-yard line. The back hits three on the carry. And that's the freshman who got in on that tackle. Gets to about the 34-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll bring up third and four. He's taken down at the 35. That's your goal on every possession. Force a three and out, and don't allow the offense to get into any sort of rhythm. Burks, back to return it. Booming kick. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. The Razorbacks really got the job done on that first drive, and they took the crowd out of this thing. They sure did, and I was really impressed with the execution by the quarterback. It's tough to be able to communicate with your linemen, and not to mention your wide receivers, but he did a very nice job of showing great poise, keeping his composure, and leading them to some points. We'll see what he can do here this next time out. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. Arkansas is up seven. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. With a quick throw. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with his own, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage, and he found him with a perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. Slings it. First and ten. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Got a man, watch out here. Boy, picks him up about three yards with the catch. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. Arkansas leads it 7-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. He's tackled at the 10 yard line. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Arkansas is up by a touchdown. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. 
That makes it first and goal. Play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Quick strike to the receiver. The 50. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Makes it out to about the 20. And they got him for a loss. Boy, it's nice to see the speed on the defensive side of the ball here. That time they were able to catch the running back behind the line. That's impressive. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 23-yard line. Three down, three down. 31's the mic. Let's go! Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. Strike to his receiver, no good. They're going to come up short here on third down to be able to pick up this first down, but at least they're in field goal range, and a smart coach will always take three points when he gets an opportunity. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. It has the distance, and he splits the uprights. Texas A&M lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. He's at midfield. And he's finally taken down at the 41. Perfectly run option keeper. Not what you'd expect when you prepare all week to defend the option. But then again, give this offense some credit. These guys aren't exactly the scout team. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Caught with room to work. Knocked out of bounds at the 24. That's good for a game of 17 yards. That makes it first and 10. Here we go. Here they come. Fires out quickly, incomplete. And this one could be on the defense. Pass interference. 
Defense. Defense. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And they get nice yardage on that run. And down he goes, just outside the goal line. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. He goes out of bounds around the 28-yard line. Gets out to about the 31. On the carry. Gain of three yards. Man left, man left. That'll bring up third and four. Come you going eight. Here we go. Green nine. He guns it left side. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. From the 47 yard line, it's first down. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. He's out of bounds at the 40. That's good for the game of seven yards. That makes it third and three. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Two down, two down. 30 was the mic. Set, 180. Wide, 80. Kill it, check, check. Over on. Fires it out. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Got it out to his tight end, and he hits him hard at the 23. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Caught, and that's a first down. And he is drilled at the 15-yard line. From the 15-yard line, first down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Runs it left for a decent game. Set. 
He's scrambling. Nice play to set up first and goal. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Davis is lined up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Razorbacks took a while to get their offensive engine running. That baby's running smooth right now. You know, the offensive coordinator told us this week that they sometimes will start off a little bit slow because they're just kind of throwing out the different plays and formations. And then once they get a feel for how the defense is playing them, then they feel more confident that they can attack. And that's what we've seen so far today. Get to that quickly. And he's taken down at about the 33-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle around the 36-yard line. Arkansas is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Short pass, middle of the field, and they make the stop at the 40-yard line. That's a gain of four on the play. That brings him second and nine. Scrambling around, and they got it. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. We played a half. Arkansas leads it 21-10. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset they haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to create, not to give away any turnovers. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense has really seemingly been unstoppable. Should be interesting to see now if the defenses change things up as they try to stop these guys. Tackle made at the 33. He's at midfield. And he's finally brought down at the 37-yard line. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That brings up second and nine. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down at the 32. That's good for a game of three yards. 
That'll make it 35. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. They're going to try a long field goal here. The kick is away. It's long enough, and he nails the long field goal. like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. it into coverage and it's intercepted the 10 he'll take it all away for the touchdown so a great play by the defender to give his team six points that was a very good play and that will certainly help build his team's momentum And he hits the PAT. Arkansas to kick. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Quick throw out to the receiver. At the 30, he's taken down at the 26-yard line. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Well, that was just a well-executed play. They picked a perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Loss is one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Three down, three down. 30 left the mic. Here we go. Check, check. Three nine. They'll bring him down around the 26-yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That brings up third and 10. Quick throw, and he's tackled at about the 31. Five-yard loss on the play. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Kicks away, and it's good! Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 31-13, Arkansas. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Texas A&M's done everything right in this football game, at least to this point. Yeah, at this point is a key. We still have an entire quarter to go, but they have executed perfectly on both sides of the ball. They've got a nice lead here. They're thinking about upset. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Fires right side, got his tailback. He's tackled right around the 26-yard line. pass they bring him down in the backfield that'll be a two-yard loss not much going on there those kind of plays will not work against this defense you can be sure of that
from their own 24-yard line. It's third down. That's a great tackle at the 16-yard line. You know what happened there? The offensive line was so focused on picking up the blitz, they forgot about blocking the defensive lineman. Fourth and long here after the sack. Smith awaiting the return. And he's tackled at the 45. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He makes it to the 42-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That will make it second and seven. He's hit immediately. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. He looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. It's up, looks long enough. No good, he pushed it to the right. All it takes is a split second of something going wrong. A low snap, a bad hold, a slip, and you've got a miss to the right or the left. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. Roger, Roger. Here we go. Five wide. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Quick strike to the receiver, and down he goes at the 47-yard line. That makes, that makes it second, second and two. two. There he goes! Nice run there. Call it a gain of seven yards. First down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Game of seven yards. He laterals the ball. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Good outside run there. Fires out to his receiver, and they got him for a loss. Drop back a yard. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. It's second and 11. Ball on the 35. So at the end of the third quarter, the Razorbacks lead 31-13. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Spivey gets the carry right side, and he tackles him hard at the 32-yard line. Defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights.
Arkansas. He kicks this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Razorbacks have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. We're about set to start things up again. Set, check, check. Snake on. Snake on. Rotion. He's going to try and scramble, and they got him. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Three down, three down. 30 the He unloads it. Incomplete pass. That is textbook pass defense. As soon as the ball hit the receiver's hands, he was all over. Strike to his receiver, no good. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. Turner is back to receive. Brought down at the 49. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Fires quickly and he's got his man. And he's taken down around the 35 yard line. That makes it first and 10. And he makes it out to about the 34 yard line. Brad, he drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. That's good for a game. Here we go. Here we go. First down. He's on the run, inside the 10. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. They're at the six. It's second down. And he just gets rid of it. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And they push him out around the five-yard line. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. It's up, and it's good. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Less than three minutes in the game. Scrambling around. And they make the stop at the 33-yard line. He makes his way to about the 45. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start, offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start as a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. So the penalty will make it first and 15. And he throws it away. at the 43-yard line. Call his own number on that one. I like the idea of trying to run here, but the defense really made him pay the price for trying to run. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Passes it to the middle of the field. He's at the 40. Out of bounds at the 35-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Just under two to go in the game. Here we go. Green 88. Green 88. Motion, motion. There's a strike complete. He's down. Check, check. Omaha. That makes it second and six. Gets it out to the tight end, and he can't hang on. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. And this play is number eight on the drive. Green 88. Green 88. Brought down around the 29-yard line. I think the play call was the right one by the offense. I just think the defense made a better play. They seem to want it more here on this big third down. Offense comes up a little bit short to set up the fourth down to give all the credit to the personnel on the defensive side of the ball. And he hits him hard at the 25-yard line. Slings it. Quick throw to the tight end. He's all the way. Touchdown. What a catch and a big touchdown from the tight end. I'll tell you, this tight end is a big time football player. He might like to talk a little bit out there on the field, but he has the type of game to back it up. Well, they're going to try for the two point conversion. They don't get it. A 10 play, 81 yard drive. But the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. Arkansas is supposed to have been the underdog coming in here today, but their performance and the score certainly doesn't reflect that. And I've been blown away by this effort today. Big underdog. They end up not just winning the game, but blowing out their opponent. This is a game that not only you're happy to win, but it can change your season around, really even change the perception of your program.
Under a minute left in the game. Tackle made at the 29. Call it a game of 11 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 29 yard line. He's taken down to the 26 yard line. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, Arkansas 37, Texas A&M 19. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kirk? Boy, this was a major upset. Texas A&M was really outplayed in this football game. They came in as huge favorites, a little overconfident, and possibly a little unprepared. But they leave with a bitter taste of defeat. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.